Picture this, a single spark ignites and the entire forest is set ablaze. That's the power of the United Auto Workers strike. It's a strike that's shaking the very foundations of Detroit's big three automakers, and the economic cost is staggering, nearing $8 billion. Workers are feeling the burn with $359 million in lost wages. The automakers themselves are grappling with a $3.45 billion loss. Dealers and customers? They're not spared either with a $1.21 billion loss. And suppliers? They've taken a $2.67 billion hit. And the fire is still spreading, with six assembly plants and 38 parts depots now shut down. But the cost isn't just about numbers, it's about people and their livelihoods. Let's delve deeper into the societal shockwaves caused by the United Auto Workers strike. This strike has initiated a domino effect, impacting people far beyond the picket lines. Imagine a bustling factory now laying dormant, workers facing layoffs and families grappling with sudden financial instability. The ripple effect doesn't stop there. Retail sales are in a decline as people tighten their belts. This, in turn, impacts local businesses, from mom-and-pop stores to larger retail chains. Airline travel, often seen as a luxury, also takes a hit, resulting in fewer tourists and business travelers. This decrease in traffic affects the hospitality industry, from hotels to restaurants and even taxi services. Moreover, the reduced income tax collections in Michigan are a stark reminder of the financial toll this strike has taken on the state's economy. Now imagine if this strike goes nationwide. The domino effect would multiply, impacting countless more livelihoods and causing further economic disruption. Remember, when one domino falls, the rest follow. Now imagine a house of cards, it's stable until one card is removed. Then, everything comes crashing down. This is precisely the situation the US auto industry finds itself in as the United Auto Workers strike continues. Bill Ford, the executive chair of Ford, has sounded the alarm, warning that the entire industry is teetering on the edge of disaster. This isn't just about one company or one group of workers, we're talking about an industry that's woven into the fabric of the American economy, a sector that's been a cornerstone of manufacturing for over a century. The current strike has put everything at risk, turning the industry into a house of cards, waiting for that one card to be pulled. So what happens when the house of cards falls? What happens when the forest fire isn't extinguished? That's the question we're left with as we watch the UAW strike unfold.